Well, hi, Jason and Jackie. We're at the Appleseeds Teaching Farm in Fayetteville. Normally, it is full of kids right now, harvesting food and learning how to cook. So we are so excited to have the opportunity to share the farm with you virtually and at a safe distance between Case and myself. Hello. Um, we've got really amazing greens right now, spinach and kale and Swiss chard. Um, really? Lots of really good stuff that's ready to go. Do y'all have any onions or anything Oh, like we that? have beautiful onions, yes. All right, so it sounds like this recipe is starting to kind of come together. So Mary, will you take me into the high tunnel and show me around a little bit? Let's go. Let's okay. some, yeah, let's grab some spinach for All sure. All right, and this is awesome too because it's full of vitamin C for this time we want to boost our immune system. Oh yeah, that's right. It's great. Look at that. Gorgeous. Happy birthday to Mary. Happy birthday to Mary. Uh, about three tablespoons olive oil in a hot pan. We're gonna shift here a little sizzle here. What I've done is I've taken the white parts of the green onion. We're going to use that to start. So three cloves of garlic here. So we're going to let these onions go for just about three minutes until they start to kind of caramelize and turn brown. Beautiful locally grown onions. We're going to kind of a medium high heat. We're going to turn it down just a tad. And now we're going to add our garlic. And the garlic actually has antiviral properties, so that really helps with everyone getting their immune systems up and running right now. The entire apple seeds studio slash kitchen smells amazing. Now we're going to add our kale and our spinach, okay? And this is going to be about a bunch. We're going to finish this with some lemon juice as well as some lemon zest. So all I'm going to really do here is juice half because we don't need a whole lot. We're going to add just a little bit of uh, vegetable broth. If you have chicken broth, that will work. Even if you wanted to use a little white wine, that would be fine as well. But we're going to add about a cup of that. We have some penne pasta from Jason's um, pantry that I went ahead and I cooked it ahead of time. And then I made sure that I did reserve a little bit of the liquid that came from the pasta. What that does, because of uh, the flour and everything that was in that liquid, it's going to help thicken this up a little bit. We're going to add that pasta. I'm also going to add at this time a little bit of our lemon juice. Use a little more of the seasoned salt. I'm going to add a little pepper to it. At this point, I'm going to add a little bit of that reserved pasta juice, juice, water. I'm going to add first a little feta cheese. I think I had about a cup in there for you. Those delicious almonds that we toasted and chopped ahead of time. And finally, a little bit of the zest. But the zest is gonna really brighten this dish. It's gonna make it bright and kind of light, and it's gonna give it a really sort of delicious sort of citrus flavor profile that really, at the end of the day, is gonna make this dish really fantastic with those greens. Okay, thank you, Case. This is a beautiful, simple, healthy meal. It's amazing. Well, well Mary, thanks for letting me come to the Appleseeds Garden. Jason, Jackie, I hope you have a great recipe. Use the items in your pantry. It's so easy to make something delicious. It really is. All right, guys, enjoy. Thank you.